what's good you guys it's your girl cutie and i'm back with another video so y'all we got a lot of discuss today okay first of all it's so much stuff that's going on i'm about to share this screen with y'all real quick but while i'm sharing getting ready and prepared to share this screen we are going to talk about the things that have been going on first of all you guys there is somebody it was the story was on the neighborhood talk but y'all i guess called them be getting scared honey i don't blame them because girl look these celebrities they like to sue but allegedly you guys there was a article that i read that allegedly um cassie was ordered by diddy allegedly to get um implants and diddy actually did not like the implants so before she was actually fully healed from the surgery diddy made her go back and get them allegedly redone okay um so you guys know that the views and opinions expressed in this video and on the cutie tv youtube channel do not necessarily affect the opinion of cutie tv and the youtube channel all topics are for entertainment purposes only comedy all that okay so we already know that i just want to put that on there real quick Copyright disclaimer. Y'all better put it on y'all platforms, honey. All right. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's a rumor that's been going around. And I honestly believe in no lie. But this is an article from the Neighborhood Talk by the Neighborhood Talk staff. Yes, that's D. And her article reads, neighbors, it's no secret that Diddy settled a RAPE and abuse allegations lawsuit with Cassie last week. But it appears that he is still facing consequences from his alleged actions. Excuse me, y'all can't read today. According to a letter that was filed with a New York court, the liquor giant, D.A. Geo, whatever it is, girl, believes the accusations are another reason why he shouldn't be the face of the Deleon brand. It is important to note that the company already felt this way about Diddy before the lawsuit. Diddy was... Diddy has been running a joint liquor venture with the company for nearly a decade now. According to a report by NBC News, in May, Diddy accused the company of pigeonholing or whatever they say, Deleon and Ciroc, the vodka he fronted for 15 years as br black brands for urban consumers, allegedly violating an equal treatment provision in their contracts. OK, so girl, let's hold on, y'all. Let's go continue reading, child. Hold on. Dia, Dia Gio, whatever they called, ended the Ciroc partnership over the summer, saying at the time that Combs had breached his contract, the pair are still feuding over De Leon, but it appears Diddy's latest scandal has allowed the company to hit him with a checkmate. Let me tell y'all something, okay? Now, it's a lot of stuff going on. All right. It's a lot of stuff going on with this Diddy case. It's a lot of stuff going on with Cassie. It's just a lot of stuff going on. OK, but I'm going to say this as well. Y'all know it's some stuff where people up here talking about, oh, what well, such and such is coming out with another sexual assault um, scandal. And let me tell y'all something. Either men in Hollywood are allegedly very, very dominant and very mean or... OK, um, it's a lot of people trying to get paid. Now, I'm not saying it's not victims out here. OK, I'm not saying it's not victims. I'm not saying that, you know, people are not, you know, victims of what they have going on. I'm not saying that. But it's a lot of people that are on YouTube and social media. And this is not my opinion. I'm going to just tell you all what's going on. OK, and these people are saying that Cassie was not worried about none of this until she got a family, a husband, and those, you know, those two kids. And now, you know, allegedly her husband is not working currently. So, I mean, there's time for a lawsuit. That's what people are saying. Me personally, I don't know what I think about that. I feel like people, you know, sometimes people just are not ready to tell their story. It just depends on, you know, I know if it was a situation with me, if I was Cassie, I would not even sit up there and tell my story until I'm ready. I would want nobody to force me to do anything. Okay. But I am saying you guys that some stuff just with this situation is a little bit strange. Plus now we're seeing all of these men that are being accused of certain things. So, hey, it is what it is. But I do feel like she came out the right time, which is her time. OK, her time is always the right time, child. Um, But I don't know, y'all. It's still so many stories that are surfacing of Cassie and what she endured, you guys. And it's just very shocking. Would it have helped if she came out sooner? Absolutely. It would have helped if she would have came out sooner because I believe she could have got her a bigger, you know, lawsuit. Um, I figured she would have got more money. 
Um, and it's not about money, you know, like she said, or allegedly said, you know, it's about justice. But this situation with Diddy is getting very, very, it's getting very tricky. Okay. It's getting, it's giving very much surviving Diddy. I'm still waiting on Lifetime because Lifetime, we know you coming, baby. We know you coming. Don't be having us waiting Lifetime. Okay. We already know what it is with y'all. So y'all, I am really waiting on to see what's going to happen with this situation. But I guess now Cassie can finally say she is free. Her justice is justicing over there, all right? And she is officially paid. So she can spend her money, save her money, do whatever she want to do with her money, okay? She is well deserving of that, um, especially with these allegations that has been circulating. And there's so many people that are now coming out and that are you know, saying like, hey, she's not lying. She's telling the truth. OK, so a lot of us, you know, we got to try to understand we don't want to victim bash anybody or make nobody feel a certain type of way about their story. OK, we really don't want to do that, because like I said before, you guys, this is a tricky situation. But I, I hope that everything works out for Cassie. As far as Diddy, I do feel like um, it's a lot to come. OK, um, we did see pictures of Diddy. If you guys did not see that, y'all go over to Storm My Road. There is um, pictures that I guess a paparazzi um had took and they surfaced on the internet you guys and those pictures are actually um of diddy sitting with i don't know who the woman is it looks like somebody that works for him but he was allegedly sitting and i mean not allegedly he was sitting there and it looked like he was crying or it, he was in distress or maybe just a hundred percent stressed out and of course, me, y'all know I'm sensitive. I don't like to see people stress. But, you know, sometimes when you do things to people, it does come back to you, child. OK, so it was a very, very um, the picture really spoke volumes. OK, about what he is going through or possibly going through. And there is the other scenario. Y'all know people. They always got to go and think outside the box or overthink. Um, Some people are saying that Diddy was putting on. They're saying that that person was not actually paparazzi that was somebody that worked for him allegedly and he decided that he wanted to um tell the person hey i'm about to do this and that da, 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 da. go over there act like you're the paparazzi take this picture let's go ahead and get this picture to the internet okay so there are people that's thinking the same thing like that too we really just don't know y'all all I'm going to say is I'm just glad the situation is over for Cassie. Now, for Diddy, I'm not quite sure, honey. All right? I'm not quite sure if the, if the situation is over for him because, y'all, he is in a lot of heat, okay? I'm talking about people are coming out of the woodwork with either a story of, you know, their relationship with him. There are so many stories of alleged uh, situations where he was being physical, allegedly, with other rappers and other people as far as, like, fighting, allegedly, and all this other stuff. So, y'all, we really just don't know what the deal is with Diddy. Um, in my humble opinion, a lot of the stories... I do believe some of them are very far fetched. Some of them are just like, OK, now you really you really shouldn't have did this. OK, but um, I really just want to know what y'all think, you guys, because like I said before, I feel like Diddy is in some real shit. OK, I feel like he's in, uh, we just waiting on Lifetime at this point. OK, we just waiting on a Lifetime show surviving diddy or whatever okay because i mean they gotta find somebody else child so y'all celebrity men honey y'all be careful now all right y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe i'll see y'all the next one